The Lime Scooters will now be doing more than just getting you around. That ride you take can now contribute to the Women's and Children's Alliance. Brenda joins us right now to tell us how this all works. Well, Mackie, the Women's and Children's Alliance has seen an increase of domestic abuse and sexual assault cases here in Idaho. And donations received from Lime Scooters and bikes will go towards helping provide services for families that need them. A helping hand. If you don't know that there is some place for you to go or some place to call, then you are feeling trapped and you feel like there's no place to turn. For 110 years, the Women's and Children's Alliance, WCA, has offered a secure emergency and transitional shelter program in the Treasure Valley. To provide safety, healing, and freedom from domestic abuse, and sexual assault. WCA's CEO Beatrice Black says domestic abuse and sexual assault cases in Idaho are growing, and so is the need for their services. That's an emergency intake. In 2020, we had uh, 17 of those. In 2021, we had also 17 of those. And in 2022, Black says the cases have more than doubled compared to pre-pandemic years. To help with the increase of cases, WCA has partnered with Lyme to collect donations through their Lyme Hero Initiative. We started to look at the community and look at organizations who were making a big impact and who were serving a population that sometimes gets overlooked by either federal funding or public funding. Now Treasure Valley, Lime e-scooter and e-bike riders will be able to opt in for a good cause. It's essentially an opt-in crowdfunding mechanism where our customers round up the price of their ride and that uh, amount that's rounded up gets donated to a local organization, in this case, the WCA. Lime has committed to donating $50 gift cards and providing free and discounted rides to WCA's clients. So a lot of people who are fleeing domestic violence are transportation limited and um, shared affordable carbon-free uh, micromobility is low-cost way to get in and around Boise to get things that folks need, be it appointments, health care, grocery shopping, things like that. This initiative will be available throughout the year, and even with winter in full swing, Lime's manager of community and government affairs, Hayden Harvey, says that he's hopeful people will still use Lime transportation. We are seeing several hundred rides a day, depending on the weather, when it gets up into the 40s and 50s, even over a thousand rides a day. Folks are definitely still using Lime to get around town, albeit with this weather. Black says his partnership will not only help them with donations, but it's also a great way to help raise awareness. I think that we all need to be working together to foster that community. And, and it is programs and partnerships like this and providing the visibility that is going to help us get there. And the initiative launched at the start of December, so they are going to keep this going up until the next or the upcoming year. So you still have some time to go All right. and support this mission. It's really a great idea, and those scooters are so popular. Yeah. They could really do a lot of good.